my YouTube channel. Welcome back to Storytime with Rika. Why in a bonnet? Listen, tomorrow is graduation, and I really wasn't going to give all in the video. I was not going to post today, but I know all it always on my ass for not posting, and it's when the YouTube video come in. Why I'm post da 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 da. So I am going to post this today. Obviously, you're seeing this today, but I start to prep for my graduation. This is the day before my graduation. It is very hectic. I got my nails done. I start to do my lashes. I start to collect my dress. I start to do my hair. Listen, and I'm not well. Obviously, my hair isn't done yet. Obviously, and I can't come on here looking crazy. So I'll come on here in a bonnet. You'll see me in this bonnet on Instagram, on TikTok, and now you'll see me in this purple bonnet on YouTube. Oh gosh. <laughs> On YouTube, all right? So, yeah. By that time, so you already know what's about to go down. I just gave you all a disclaimer about the bonnet. Ignore the bonnet. It's still America. We still there, right? We give it a... Yeah. So, by that time, so you already know what's about to go down. Here is story time or story times about why I ended the talking stage. Right? So, if you don't know, the last relationship that I was in is the one that's on YouTube. That was in 2022. That ended in 2022. Right? We in 2024. So I've been single for about two years. Give or take. Two years, right? Um, in my single whatever era. Whatever. In my single two years. I've been on like a couple talking stages, you know, um, situationships, you know, etc. etc. I just never been in like an actual real relationship since 2022 right so yeah this is not for one specific guy but it's it's so it's like 13 reasons on here and let me say it's about 10 guys within the two years right and i think that reasonable and this is not again this is not people that i was with talking about with but some of them either never even get a kiss or hug, or some never even get like anything. We just went on one date and now that was it. That was it. So I think like out of the ten, three, I really really liked and I went on like more than one date. But most of them, they never even get. <laughs> so yeah, number one, you know I like to yap oh gosh, I done stuttering. Yeah, number one, my mother didn't like him. If Michelle don't like you, you cannot, you have no space in my life. Sorry. Because like, how? Oh, how? Oh, how I tell my mother I go out? How I get my mother to be sick, my child? If I, if I stay home and he not go with my daddy, and I want to just run away real quick and come back. She not going to want to be sick because she don't like who I'm going out with. You understand? Yeah. Anyways, number two, if you're too insecure, insecure man, you tell leave her girl alone. I fed up, tell only that. No. Number three, high class disrespect. Because like, hmm? No. 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 I draw a line. Because like, you can't just be disrespectful. You, you do it once. You do it twice. By the third time, you're gone. Because sometimes it does really get the benefit of the doubt. And sometimes, if I really like it, I just really make exceptions. You understand? But you can't be like just. No. You can't be doing that. At all, at all, at all. I hate, hate, hate. You must respect me. You must respect me. I mean, that's, that's across the board. Yeah. And if you're getting too disrespectful, we will stop talking. And I'll pass the street like a full bus and act like I don't know. Number four, you're too sad now. This I know this person in particular, and I know this person. It's at this person, I didn't, I didn't like him, I didn't like him. And I thought he was moving at a good pace, right? It was, let me say, we was going good, we was going good. We went on like two dates, but. The way my mother is, my mother protective. She's not strict, but she protective. So she doesn't want to know who I'm going out with and this stuff again. But mother did actually like him. And um 
I met his mom, and his mom liked me. Uh, that was around like Mother's Day, and she called me for Mother's Day and saying she was talking to me. She was talking to Matteo. Matteo also liked the person, and I don't really introduce my son to like a lot of people. So him actually meeting my son, yeah, and like everything was going good. It was just going real good, like real good, and he just like. We wasn't moving. Like, I felt like, you know, we're moving because, okay, we're going on dates, right? I meet your mother, right? You meet my mother, right? We're going down, good, 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 good. Then we just stop. It's like the same thing over and over. And that was like a no. That was a big, big no because, like, you're like, um, you're not ready to settle down or you're not, like, ready for a relationship. But you don't want me to wait on you or something. I'm mad like that. Listen, no, because we can be doing relationship shit, and we're not in a relationship. Because at the end of the day, you could go there and do what you want with whoever you want, and then turn around and tell me, "Oh, well, we wasn't together." Oh, not me. Play with something safe. Don't play with me. So we don't speak. We uh, literally, if I see you now, I will pass them straight. You would never, ever, ever think that we ever had anything big man thing you will never ever ever if you've ever seen me and me in the same <laughs> in the same vicinity you would never think that we was ever 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 in something because the way i just get up my face or the way i just just ignore him oh okay oh okay but yeah, I can't do that. And especially if you don't know what you want, don't approach me. Please don't pass. But everything was going good. Everything. And I'm glad that if Mateo see him, Mateo wouldn't remember him anymore. Because I think Mateo was like four. Four. Yeah, I think he was four. But um, children don't remember people. I realize that children don't remember people unless they see them real often. So if, if, you make much, but I don't know. He's five now, ten and six. So I don't know if you. I don't know how his memory is now. But when in, when he was like two, three, four, you could meet him in January, and by March, if he don't see you from January to March, by March he forgets who you are, and that's amazing. But I kind of like regret, like you know, actually opening up to that person because like, mm, what? Anyways, yeah. Number five. Yeah, number five. He was too cocky and too nonchalant. I love me a caring man. You don't have to be like all up in your emotions twenty four seven, but you have to at least have some kind of feelings. Oh gosh, don't be like ah nah, it's not a deep. It's not a deep. I ask you, what happened? Nah, 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 I good. Or uh, I and all do something, and you just like well, that you do your thing. No, I need a reaction. You do to, to actually care or act like you care. Oh, God. I hate a nonchalant nigga. Sorry. But I love to make nonchalant niggas chalant. Because they be chalanting. They take the nonchalant. But once a nonchalant nigga meets somebody that actually, that they actually like, they will start chalanting. I promise you that. Next, bad hygiene. And he was little dunce. Listen, you see hygiene, it must be top tier. Don't think because taking care of yourself as a man, like you're being feminine. No, no. Go and do manicures. Go and clean, and especially if you're working like like my mechanic. <laughs> especially if you're working like a dirty job. Not like a dirty job, but you understand? Like you work with your hands and your hands always like in your work whatever you just be doing you need to take care of your fingers especially when you want to bring them around me like no go on your manicures shave often or you could even wax men wax too like take care of your skin take care of your teeth take care of everything take care of yourself you taking care of yourself is not you being feminine please don't ever let nobody tell you that so ever let nobody tell you that okay good I hate bad hygiene. You see, anytime I go to see and I see that, that little black thing on me, because my natural nails look. I 
to get out of it. But my natural nails, naturally long. And my nails, always clean. Always clean. Always clean. If I ever see that little black on your nails, turn off. Instantly. Instantly. You see a sense? I love a man that looks very good. As I jump in the camera, smell it. <laughs> when I leave from in your presence, I must be smelling like you. I'm good. So you need to take care of yourself. And you see that dunsy thing? Don't come around me with that either. Because book sense is not everything, but you need to at least know how to speak. And you need to expand your vocabulary. Please. Because we can't be using the same words right through. It's at that time, oh my goodness, I tell this boy that I was feeling nauseous, right? And the man is sitting wrong and asks me what I mean. And I was like, I feel like I vomit. And he was like, why are you using your nursing terms on me? Nauseous? Nauseous is a nursing term? It's a, sorry, I think it's a medical term. Or hospital slang, whatever you say. What? Everybody knows what nauseous means. That is stupid. That is crazy. You see, if you're coming to my chat and you're mixing up the days, you're mixing up patience and patience, you're mixing up, um, like, just everything. Loose and loose. Like, sorry, loose and loose. Like, you can't be mixing up words. And I understand that autocorrect does, you know, be doing the most sometimes. And honestly, I don't make mistakes sometimes. But if it's at once, at twice, you know, or like, it's space, or like once this month, or once, sorry, this week, because they don't be going on so long. These organizations don't be going on so long. As soon as you turn me off, gone. But anyways, yeah, this week, you know, you make a little mistake, or next week, you make a little mistake, all right. But it can't be every day, three times a day, you just making grammatical errors in my chat. No. No. I see the next one is too much. I don't know what I mean when I put that, because I literally just put too much. No contact, and I can't remember who I was talking about. So next, um, to bep, self-explanatory. You can't be too bep. Listen, I am bep. You know what bep mean? Little slow, right? I book sense, but common sense, it is a little. You understand? So it's I can be bep, and you bep too. Mm mm. It it also, it also at all. No. Next. Um, their last relationship was four years. Four years. You now come out of a relationship that was four years and you want to come at me? Babe, go and get a soulmate. Go and get a soulmate. That is your soulmate. Leave me alone. Please and thank you. No, there's nothing here. Because you just look, yeah, you're looking for a rebound, one, or you're just looking for a jam. And that is not me. Sorry. Four years. And you talk about, yeah, you, you ready to settle down with that? And it's been a month since your four-year relationship ended. You seen... Sorry, I was going on curse. You seen Duncey back on my forehead? Had to be. It is? Had to be. Because you know come with that four-year relationship and you looking to come with me? BFFR. The next one is moving too fast and there's a lack of romance. There's this guy. Hmm. There's this guy. We literally went out once and never again. We talked for a week and never again. We went out, right? We see us going on a date. Well, he know me through somebody. That, well, my true person. Right? And he asked me on a date. And the date was to go and watch a football game, right? Like, okay. There's the first time we ever out, right? We went to the football game and he wasn't talking. I fell up telling on Instagram that I hate shy niggas. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I just be shy in person. So you can be shy and me too. What are we going to do? Talking, sit on in silence? No. No. So he was shy. He done that, that, done that, the whole thing bad. So we sit on the football game, watching the football, and he wasn't talking. I don't understand that. And first of all, I tell him that I didn't want to go to the football game because I don't really watch football like that. I really don't. But he really wanted to watch the football game. So I was like, okay, whatever. We can watch the football game and we can do something like that. Okay, cool. After the, well, we leave the football game early because they say boring. Whatever that's supposed to mean. Then we went for food, and then when we went for food is when he started to, like, kind of warm up, right? So we had talking and saying, and saying, and saying, and saying. Then, I think that night was his friend birthday or something, and we end up in the bar. 
This is the first time we're going out, right? First time we're going out. We end up in the bar, we drink some drinks and say whatever. Then apparently the alcohol starts to get in the head, so that is when, you know, he starts to actually warm up. So we actually start to talk. But you know, bar, music, slamming. How am I supposed to hear you? You're supposed to hear me. We had to repeat ourselves like 10,000 10, times. Sorry, I have to think too fast. But yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, drop my home. But when when we drop home, when they drop my home, we still only can we talk some more. Because again, like they are called kicking and they actually start to talk and they actually, you know, warm up and say whatever. So the most second conversation that we had that night was when it was time for me to go home. Mm -hmm. So we start talking. And, oh, and they the same one with the four-year relationship. Yeah, you see why I tell you? Some of the reasons is the same person, yeah. He had a four-year relationship. So we there, we, we in the road, talking, in the car. And we just talking, 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 talking. So I seen the time going. I seen, you know, I don't spend however long with you. Let me not go. Never get my kiss, right? Because he was like, um, he won. Well, he asked for it. And I was like, oh, you could just wait. That's what I say, right? And same. So we never kiss. Eh? We never kiss. We never. Well, we get, I gave him a hug. And that was that. When I reached home, you video. That was a Saturday. You video called me and tell me reach home. Okay, cool. Sunday morning, you video calling me again. The week start now, so I'm going back to clinical something. You want to call me during the week on the phone? Sit down with me while I do my assignment. You want me to come and check? Oh, we never went on a date. Another date after that, eh? That was the first date. It wasn't even a date. Like when we actually, actually sit down and study it. But, yeah. He said it was a date. It wasn't a date in my book, right? Um, after that now, so you want a video call me, you want to, um, you want me come and check you in your house, like I stand up on my head, I don't know why coming in your house for a while, I don't know what you calling me down there for, I don't, oh okay, we went out once and it wasn't even like a formal something, so you had no romance and you, I find you moving too fast, because you didn't even get a kiss from me, you want me come and check you in your house, and then I was like, um, we ain't even that good yet for me to be in your house. And he was like, um, no, no, that vibes just, you know. I stand up on my head, I walk. And it's not even like, daytime, come and check in your house. Nighttime, you want me come and check in your house. I shipping. I had to be shipping. No, I had to be shipping. I had to be shipping. But yeah, you can't just want to take me on a football game, carry me in the bar, and then just be like, yeah, well, I'm a woman now, huh? Because it's crazy, you know, and they have audacity out here. Anyways, next, emotionally unavailable. Yeah, can't be doing that. Sorry. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Especially if you're dating, you can't be doing that. If it is you're looking for something or you're just trying to have a good, like, you cannot be doing that. Can't be emotionally available or don't come at all. Can't. No matter what, he don't believe in God. That was a shocker. Listen. Men sometimes does take off everything that you like. Everything. Everything that you like. And then just have one bad thing. Like when I tell you this man, he was like 6'2". He have a wave cut. He have a real nice smile. Listen, he was real handsome. Like, every, like, literally, when we start talking, I was like, yeah, yeah, you know? The first time we went out, I get to find out, you don't believe in God. That is madness. That is madness. Like, honestly, I'm not forcing no, um, my religion down nobody truth, but you have to at least believe in God, oh gosh. Believe in some kind of higher nature. We, we just not here. We didn't just fall on the earth. And listen, that whole conversation just was baffling to me. Like, I was talking to him. I said, so where are we going to be when we did? Like, where you believe in? And he, he's like, like, we just went and died. And also, <laughs> he won children, right? No, much more children. He won children. And so I was like, where are you going to teach your children? And he was like, he's going to leave it up to the mother. That is madness. Because, like, what? And you want to get married. I said, okay, so you're going to get married in our church? Yeah. So how? You don't pray. You don't believe in God. If it happened, it happened. If it don't happen, well, it wasn't supposed to happen. What? If you want something to happen, you don't pray about it. You just do what you had to do. 
What? No, that was like, I was like, wait, boy, you so handsome and you just know, like he literally take off everything for the physical characteristics and then for like the inside, it's like, no, I love a God-fearing man. You don't have to be in the church every Sunday. I would prefer if you're in the church every Sunday. But if you're not in the church every Sunday, because I don't mean the church every Sunday, because they know I fall back a little bit. But you have to at least believe in God. You have to at least be praying. That is madness. I don't know how all well this get your life. No. 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 Are your demons? Leave me alone. Sorry. Sorry. I already struggled with my faith. I want somebody to pick me up and, you know, actually help me. Don't be pulling me further away from God. You're mad. Anyways, and the last one is problems with the ex because I find plenty of people the ex done. And, well, I mean, I kind of. <laughs> I find plenty of people they just like you and your ex done, but they always had a favorite ex that is go back to. And that is crazy because, like, you can't want to move on or want somebody else, and then your ex still are like playing your life. They still could call shots. They still could have you. They still have access to you. No. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. And you see how I don't watch her. And I just... I okay with being with somebody that have a child. But you and your child mother... Your child mother will be married. And your child mother have to not want you. Like hate you. Like how I... Your child mother have to hate you. Your child mother have to not be interested in you. She's interested in her husband, and y'all have not been together for a very long time. Y'all get along. She cannot hate me, because I'm not fighting no girl. Sorry. Sorry. And she's been there first. So I'm not going to fit myself into... No. No. But I take that very, very seriously, because I have a son. And if it is, you know, you're having me around your child, then I would obviously choose your child, like, He's mine or she's mine. And I can't do that if it is, you know, the mother, like, don't my truth ever, every other day. So, no. Your ex needs to be out of life. All they need, all, if you do not have a child with them, all they do not have to be talking. But if you have a child with them, then, yeah, all they could keep it respectful, you know. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I okay with that. I okay with that. All they have to talk because only they have a child. But if all they do not have a child, what's all they talking for? That's another video. Because how, how you and your ex could be besties? How? All they mad in this place. Or all they mad in this place. You and your ex cannot be besties. Or they cannot be besties. Or they could be. And especially if you're in a relationship. If all they, all, um, if you're single, then all they could do all they want. But if you're in a relationship, how you and your ex could be besties and you have a girl? Oh, oh, he's mad. I have two more videos that's supposed to come from this video because I need to elaborate some more. I need to yap some more about that. But this video already getting too long. But yeah, sorry, I had to come on here. Sorry, I had to come on here in a bonnet. Sorry, I'm so sorry. My appointment is at 6 p.m. And I really wanted to post because I don't like when on here. Try to be fun. So they don't try to be fun, but you understand. You understand? Yeah. So I just came on a bonnet because I, I want to give you all what y'all want. And I actually trying to be consistent this time. And if I told y'all that, you know, I'm posting every Saturday, then let me just post every Saturday. If that, it means that I have to come on here on, in a bonnet and talk and yap, then all right. Accept me in a bonnet or don't expect a video. It's that simple. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I love you guys so much. Leave your story time suggestions down below. And yeah, stay tuned for like, you know, me in grad and stuff. That was the video that all you're supposed to get. But if I didn't post today, all you're be like, where's she for? Why she never post? And all you're honestly probably going to get a video about Tuesday, a graduation video. So that's if I even record it. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. I love you guys. Uh, that's it for now. I hope you I said that already. But yeah, that's it for now. Bye.